All right, everyone. Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how good is the pirate faction. Now, I have to explain. I do have a little bit of bias here. I really like the pirate faction, but you know what? It's okay. We'll get through this together. So first up, we have the flintlock pistol, blunderbust, bomb thrower, harpooner, cannon, captain, and the pirate queen. So let's see how well that they stack up. All right. So the flintlock pistol initially seems very overpowered you have a, a range unit with two shots that goes into a decently strong melee mode once they're done firing the problem here is that they have horrible accuracy right their accuracy is terrible and also their bullets really don't do that much damage they do i'd say less than half of a squire's health more than a third I don't know, but they don't do a ton of damage with their bullets as a point. And it's going to be a rare occurrence that both of the bolts hit. And I don't know. It's just they're decent if they're really grouped up, but you're not going to just want to put a couple out there and hope for the best. So I'd say they're solid B unit. Solid B. All right, so next is a blunderbuss, a very, very good unit. They have a uh, short close range shotgun type weapon, a blunderbuss, if you will, and, um, you know, when they shoot, they fall over, and that sounds pretty bad, but it's actually not terrible, they do decent damage, and they have the invincible armor, if you don't know what the invincible armor is, it's just something I like to call, the hay balers have it, cactus people have it, and these guys have it, they can take ballista bolts, gunpowder shots, stuff like that, if it hits on their invincible armor. So yeah. Pretty good. I'd say the Bullet Bus is probably one of the most OP units. Uh, definitely in the Pirate Faction. Maybe in the whole game. I don't know. They they do really well for their cost. Alright, so. What are these guys? Well, they're bomb throwers. They're pretty simple. Pretty basic. They have good AoE damage against squishy units. Like the Squire. And if they're holding bombs when they die... They will drop them, as you see right there. He just dropped a bomb. And that's that's pretty much it. They're not very good against single entities, large tanky units, like maybe a mammoth or minotaur or giants or stuff like that. But they do good against grouped up units, so maybe like farmers or squires, stuff like that. So I'd say they're solid. They're solid B. Next, uh, the harpooner. Definitely not a solid B. I don't know how you're supposed to use it. This may just be user error. However, his gimmick is he harpoons a unit, drags it to him so he can fight it one on one, and then kicks it, which does a lot of damage. However, it's hard for him to actually hit the unit. He has not amazing accuracy with his harpoon. See, he just missed twice there, one at point blank range. And it's really easy for him to get swarmed. I think his main goal is to try to get ranged units, but it's going to be kind of hard to do that with, you know, if melee units are blocking him. So I don't really find a use for him. I'd say he's probably C. Maybe maybe a little bit overpriced. Maybe drop him down to 100. Or not 100. Whew, um, maybe like 300 or 350. Something like that. Or just buff him a little bit. I think sometimes he just loses straight out in 1v1s like against a chieftain, a unit that has the same price as him, and he's supposed to be able to solo it, but he doesn't, so I don't know. All right, so the cannon, you just saw a little footage there. It shoots out a cannonball. It doesn't explode, although it does. The cannonball, I don't, if it doesn't explode, it just uh, becomes shrapnel that can also harm units. But its main goal, it's basically a ballista, has a higher firing rate than a ballista, but it has lower damage. Um, it's also a little bit more expensive, but usually you'll be able to afford it. I'd say it's pretty good. I really like this unit. Um, sometimes you're actually going to want it over the explosive cannon, um, just because it does more damage to a single entity than the explosive cannon will. So I'd say it's a solid... I'd, I'd say it's an A. It's an A. Alright, so the captain. Um, I'm actually going to get get out a different toast unit, the king, because these guys are the same price and I feel like I usually use them for the same job. They're for either clearing small groups of units, tanking some shots, some archer fire, or dueling. This guy excels at dueling. 
His blunderbuss knocks units flying. You see that? That was crazy. And he has a kick that does a lot of damage, too. I don't even think this guy got hit by the king at all. Um, so I think that's something that needs to be addressed. I feel like maybe the king needs to be buffed some way. I'm not sure. The king does have higher health than the captain, I'm pretty sure. So maybe if you're just using the captain for a tank, you may just want to use the king instead. But I feel like they're pretty comparable in their uses and how they... Not how they function, but their uses, right? So captain, definitely B+. Plus. All right, the pirate queen. So she kind of functions as the king, but does it a little bit better. And a little bit better than the captain too. She's really good at dueling. She's also good at dealing with small groups of units, like with her bomb throwing. The thing where she struggles is she does have a decent amount of health. However, she's not amazing if you have say something like the king unit and then some archers on the side. If there are too many ranged units, the pirate queen will suffer a bunch. She, she already lost like half of her health there. So not incredible. I'd say she's decent, however, for her price, you may want to use a Reaper or something like that. But she just dismantled the king while archers were firing, firing at her. Something that you just saw there too, is that when she jumped up and the archers fired at her, they actually missed, so that's pretty good if you can get uh, archers on their reload time like that. She did win here. Um, I could have put a few more archers down. But yeah, she's she's definitely a solid unit. i definitely say probably B, B plus, maybe A. B plus or A. Yeah, okay, that's my final thing. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.